In this practice, we're going to figure out how many stereoisomers we have. And to do that, we have to figure out how many chiral carbons we have. Now, what is a chiral carbon? It's a, it's a carbon that has four different groups. So if it was connected to a hydrogen, a bromine, a chlorine, and a methyl, that's four different groups, so it makes it a chiral carbon. Now, once you figure out your number of chiral carbons that you have, you just plug it into this equation, 2 to the n, where n is the amount of chiral carbons you have. Now, every time you have a mesostructure, you have to subtract this total number by 1. Now, what is a mesostructure? Well, it's when you have an internal line of symmetry. So somewhere in this molecule, you can cut it in half, and both sides of the molecule are exactly the same. So we have to be careful for mesostructures. So let's start figuring out how many stereoisomers we have. Well, let's start with this molecule. We have this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon. They all have multiple hydrogens. And since hydrogens are the same thing, they can't be chiral carbons. Now, what about this one? Well, we have a methyl, the rest of the chain, a bromine, but then a second bromine. So this can't be a chiral carbon. So if we have two to the zero chiral carbons, that means we only have one stereoisomer. Now, what about this one? Well, we have like these carbons, like just like the last molecule, they can't be chiral carbons. But this one has a bromine, a methyl, the rest of the chain, and then a hydrogen. So that's four different groups. So that means we have two to the one chiral carbons. We have two chiral carbons. I mean, two stereoisomers, my bad. Then, what about this one? We have this carbon, this carbon, this carbon. They have multiple hydrogens. They can be it. This one, like we showed last time, has a hydrogen, a bromine, the rest of the chain. So this is a chiral carbon. So we have one here. What about this one? Well, it has a bromine, the rest of the chain, but then two hydrogens. So that's an issue. Just because you see a bromine does not make it a chiral carbon. So we only have one chiral carbon. That means we have two stereoisomers. What about this one? Well, we have these carbons right here. They have just multiple hydrogens. So they can't be it. What about this one, though? We have a bromine, an ethyl group, an ethyl group, and then a hydrogen. Well, since these are two different groups, actually, no, they're the same group because it's an ethyl and an ethyl. So how many chiral carbons do we have? Zero. That means we have two of the zero chiral carbons. So we have one stereoisomer. Be careful with this because sometimes they might just draw the wedge just to make it look like a chiral carbon. But you have to look at all the groups. You have to consider them. Are they, chiral carb are they different groups? Now, what about this cyclobutane that has a methyl? Well, this carbon right here has a hydrogen, a bromine, and then the next chain has a methyl to it, while the next chain has the bromine on the second carbon. So this is a chiral carbon. Here we have a methyl, a hydrogen, and then this bromine group, and then this bromine group. Well, these are two exactly different groups, two exactly the same groups here, just going up this way and down this way. They're the same. So this is not a chiral carbon. What about this one? You got methyl on this side, and then here you don't have a methyl, you got a bromine and then a hydrogen. So this is a chiral carbon. So we have two chiral carbons here. So you have two of the two. And then we have a line of symmetry right here. So this is what I meant by mesostructures. You have a line of symmetry that can cut the molecule right in the middle, right here across diagonally. And so if you look at each side, it's exactly the same. So we have to do minus one. So we end up only getting three stereoisomers. Now, what about this molecule right here? We have a bromine, a hydrogen, a methyl, and the rest of the chain. And over here, you have a bromine, a hydrogen, an ethyl group, and then this ethyl group that has a bromine on it. So it is two different groups over here for this bromine group, or carbon with a bromine, and same thing for this one. So these are two chiral carbons, and we don't have any mesostructures. We, can't, we don't know how to cut this in half to make it perfectly symmetrical. So it's just two to the two, so we get four stereoisomers. Now, what about this one? Well, we have a hydrogen on each one for these. We have a bromine on each, and we have different groups. We have a methyl in the rest of the chain, and here you have a methyl in the rest of the chain. So they clearly are chiral carbons. But once again, we have something called a line of symmetry that cuts it right down the middle, right here through this carbon. So since we have that line of symmetry, we have to consider this as a mesostructure. So two to the two chiral carbons minus one gives us three total stereoisomers. Now what about this? We have a bromine, behind it is a hydrogen, bromine, behind it is a hydrogen, and a chlorine, same thing. And then we have the rest of the chain, a methyl, and then these two groups, so that's definitely chiral. Here we have a bromine, hydrogen, this group with a bromine, this group with a chlorine, so this is definitely chiral. 
and then a chlorine, a hydrogen, a methyl, and the rest of the chain. So this is clearly chiral. So you have two to the three chiral carbons. So you have eight stereoisomers. Now what about this one? Well, this bromine has a hydrogen behind it, and so does this one, and so does this one. Now we have hydrogen, bromine, methyl, and the rest of the chain, definitely chiral. Bromine, hydrogen, rest of the chain, and methyl, rest of the chain, so that's clearly chiral. And on this one, we have a bromine hydrogen. Then you got and two ethyl groups, and each one has a bromine that's exactly on the middle, on the first carbon right here. So if you look at this, not only, not only do we have a line of symmetry, but also this carbon isn't even chiral because these two groups right here and right here are exactly the same. So we only have two to the two chiral carbons here and the mesostructure, so that makes it two to the two minus one, which gives us three stereoisomers. So this was just some practice on how to figure out how many stereoisomers you have and what things that you have to consider is, is the carbon actually chiral? Just because it looks like it's chiral doesn't mean it really is. And then, do we have any mesostructures? So that's really important. Mesostructures do affect how the molecule works.